This is me on controller, and I'd like to say I'm a decent player, having got to the rank of Grand Champion multiple times. However, in today's video, all of that is going to change, as after spending two years straight playing Rocket League on controller, I'll be switching to, for the first time permanently, to keyboard and mouse for just a few competitive ranked games, to see how well I can hold up. Am I able to hold my own? Am I able to compete in these high ranked lobbies? You'll have to watch the whole video to see. So without further ado, if you guys do like this content, make sure to subscribe and let's get into game number one. Okay, so here we are in free play on keyboard and mouse. Now, as you guys can see, I have set the hand come up so you guys can not only watch me on keyboard and mouse, but as proof that I am playing on keyboard and mouse. What we are going to go do is play a couple games of competitive 3v3, where my rank is low champion 1, approximately 1100 MMR. I'm going to be commentating through all my gameplay so you guys can watch my gameplay and enjoy it, and also understand my decisions and why I'm doing these things. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. As always, if you do, please make sure to subscribe. And here we go into game number one, where I'm playing on keyboard and mouse. So teammates can hopefully carry me because obviously I'm not going to be. I'm going to be at a disadvantage, and so are they with me playing on keyboard and mouse. Now, for those of you wondering, I have played a couple hours on keyboard and mouse before, so I do know some basic mechanics. So I'm just wondering how well a controller GC can do on keyboard and mouse. Literally playing my first ever ranked games on keyboard and mouse. Let's see what we can do. Here we are going to be left to defend the ball. Can we get this basic hit away? We can. Again, I know basic stuff such as literally where to hit the ball and aerial because of playing previously just for a couple hours. And my game sense is going to come off of controller. But am I able to save stuff like this? Not really. When a mechanical C1 comes at me with a decent air dribble, that is going to be something tough to save. Again, on, con on key controller, I would have been able to save that. But keep on a mouse when he goes for a shot like that. We do manage to get the aerial touch. But with the lack of air, air roll, we are going to struggle to get that one away. It's only one goal. Let's see what we can go ahead and do on keyboard and mouse. We're going to try and take this boost here. Now, we're going to hit this across. Just stop their attack. Maybe we can get another touch here. I might... Okay, one all. We'll definitely take that. All I was going to say is, will I be able to score a goal on keyboard and mouse? Obviously, main and controller. I'm able to come across on keyboard and mouse and still perform to around the same standard in competitive ranks. Let's see. Here we go. Teammate can go for this. I'm not sure if I can do the half flip mechanic. Not properly. They're going to have an open net here. Can I get the save? That's nice rotating into net there and a good save for me. Now, teammate, I need to turn on the ball here. And teammate can pass this way. I'm going to follow this up. We do actually make the mistake there by missing the ball. But we do have decent enough mechanics to recover it. Yeah, I'm going to take this mid boost. So this sort of mid here. Again, in threes, there's two other players on the team. You're going to be fine. Just be patient with the ball. I'm just going to be patient here and wait for it to come out. Now, this is going to be a test. Nice job from teammate there. Now I've got to try and put in a challenge. That's fine. That's a nice flick from them. Teammates should have me covered. So far, I don't think teammates or anyone else in the lobby would suspect anything that I'm not playing on my main inputs. We do beat the first player. Can I score on keyboard and mouse? We do get the cut shot. Oh my god, we've scored a goal on keyboard and mouse. Literally in my normal Champion 1 ranked games. We do get our first touch over the first guy and then able to come in and cut across and get that shot. A little bit of a hook shot with a flip over the second guy. What a job there. Here we go. We are now winning our first game on keyboard and mouse in competitive freeze. Again, we aren't able to do a speed flip. Uh, so not only can we not use that for kickoff, but we are just going to have to use a forward flip to rotate around the map. Going for a ceiling shot is a little bit ambitious considering I've only played on keyboard and mouse for a few hours. Now for those of you thinking if I switch to keyboard and mouse started now, I might not be this good. Well, it's because I have played a little bit of keyboard and mouse before and also I am a controller grand champion so skills do carry over again my game sense stuff like that all does carry over it is just a different input but with basic knowledge of the mechanics I've got good knowledge of when to press the mechanics in order to do mechanics and stuff like that it's just a case of remembering which buttons do what here you go we can challenge that there oh my god are we gonna get a double not quite it's a good save from them but again we would expect them to save that we are keeping up good pressure here though starting off what do you guys think so far drop a comment down below do you think I'm playing well considering I've only just switched to keyboard and mouse for these couple ranked games? I promise you guys, this is my first ranked game ever on keyboard and mouse. And so far, I'm really, really surprised at how well I'm playing. Need to watch it here. Again, he's going to break. Teammate does go for the instant rush. Can I get this? No, no, no. A little bit ambitious there for me on keyboard and mouse. We try to use a bit of air roll. It seems every time I try air roll, we do mess up. Teammate might be able to use me here if he wants. It's fine. They do beat. I'm just going to drop back. And we want to try and hold on to this one goal lead, which we have managed to gain. I'm going to go for that touch there. We flick it over one. Can't quite beat the other one. Here, we're going to try and get a demo. Remember, guys, these are my normal three lobbies. Without me um, playing these on controller, I am still here. Whether I'm on controller or keyboard or mouse. If we can go ahead and get this win, that is incredible. 
Nice from teammate. Again, I'm not playing too big of a part in this game at the moment. But we have managed to score a goal, so that's quite good. Open that. We do side flip. There's a mistake. So I'm just going to rotate back now. That is going to be my bad. There you go. Looks like they're going to hit it downfield. See, can I get this touch away? Nice from me. Can we get another touch away? That's really, really nice defense. So far, I feel like I'm playing really, really well. The only thing I think we're lacking is just that bit of car control. As you guys can see, a few side flips and a few just not really knowing how to control the car with this input. But again, that is expected. Looks like he's going to go for this. He doesn't mess up. Instant shot now. All day long, we have that save. Again, I'm not doubting myself. I refuse to doubt myself on keyboard and mouse. What do you guys think? Do you think we can pull through and get this win? Obviously, I have to play my part, like here, blocking this attack. Oh, we did manage to pull the half flip up. Can we get across? Now, that is brilliant defending for me there with use of that half flip mechanic. And a nice little pop. We're playing really, really well. This is absolutely incredible. He does fake the touch. Looks like this is going to come back out to me. Seems like I've somewhat learned how to do the half flip mechanic. Now, for those of you who may be watching this thinking, what's the half flip or how do I learn the half flip mechanic myself? I do actually have a half flip tutorial on my channel. So feel free to check that out if you can't or need to learn the mechanic. We are ball chasing a little bit too much here. So we are just going to sit back a little bit, let the teammates push up. Not sure I'm going to be able to get this, can we? I need to be ready for the second shot here. It's fine. That's going to be over. Again, we are able to aerial pretty well considering we've only just switched onto keyboard and mouse. What I'll be doing in today's video is I'll be playing a couple games of competitive threes ranked. This obviously is the first one. And then after that, I'll be running through a basic training pack, seeing what sort of shots I can do and what sort of shots I can save, just to fully get the understanding of how good my mechanics are on keyboard and mouse. But a good start is going to be by winning game number one. And with only two seconds left, it looks like we're going to do it. Can they do a Justin? Not quite. I'm going to try and bang it. Nice touch from me. They still keep it up here. Teammate manages to get it to hit the floor. And with that, we do win game number one. And somehow, by some miracle, I've managed to get MVP, player of the game, in game number one of today's video. Playing on keyboard and mouse, we do get the highest score on my team. That is absolutely incredible. Now, let's go ahead and get into game number two. Okay, so here we are then, moving on into game number two. Let's see if we continue off with that success from, obviously, game number one. Are we able to win game number two? Are we able to score another goal? You guys just don't know. And to be honest, neither do I until the end of this game. So let's go ahead and see. Looks like he's going to hit this downfield. Screw it. We're going to go for this. Nice touch. Come on. Here you go. Oh, that's going to be easy ball for them. Now I'm going to need to rotate back here. We do actually miss boost. <laughs> Little bit of a mistake there. It's fine. We got this under control. Nice touch there. It's going to be coming downfield to me here. One second. There you go. Right, we're back to playing. Try and get that hit away. We don't quite. Teammate well rotated in from teammate there. And again, can teammate get the save again? Yeah, let's see if we can help out by getting a touch here. We do touch it round one, which gives teammate the chance for the 50. That's my first contribution of the game. Let's go. Let's see what else we can do. Let's go ahead and get boost here. Nice. Teammate, nice touch. It's going to come over to me. This is my chance to go for this. Actually, no. Teammate wants this. Let's make him do the shot. Well, this is coming out a bit fast here. Okay, don't panic. Let's try and get this under control. Oh, he's there already. Teammate, nice job. Can he get this away fully? Straight away, this is feeling like a tougher game than game number one. But obviously, we did play really, really well in game number one. Can we get a touch off the wall? We can get a touch off the wall. That's nice. Okay, now we need to rotate back again. Making use of the front flippers. That's the only flip that I can do. Oh, we mess up that touch. Teammate, well, thanks for recovering me. Teammate, go on. On your own. Okay, we're going to try and get this touch to keep it up here. Can we do a wall read on keyboard and mouse? Oh, my God. We weren't too far off, to be fair. That wasn't a bad attempt. Again, we don't really know how to use air roll. That's a little bit of a... A little bit of an area that we can't do. And we missed boost as well. We can't seem to grab boost. There we go. Yeah, it looks like he's going to come down for this. Nice touch there from teammate. I've got to be ready in behind teammates here. Looks like it's going to come downfield. That's a nice challenge for me. Can we get mid boost as well? Maybe even try and block this attack. Not quite. We do know how to wave dash, I think. Yeah, we do know how to wave dash. So we're going to try and wave dash around the pitch just for some added flair. See what we can do here. We do get that hit downfield. Looks like he's going to go for this. Can we get boost? Open. Teammate. Oh, what a fake. What a flick. Oh, that is incredible from teammate there. Absolutely ankles broken from the opponent. Let's just say that all come from my touchdown field. 
absolutely clinical fake does them both. And then a nice little flick over the remaining defender. What a play from teammate there. Here we go. Try and do just a basic delayed kickoff. Try and get a flip. Nice. It's going to be a good kickoff. Teammate looks like he has possession. And yet again, we are winning, even despite playing on keyboard and mouse. Do you know what? Let's pretend I never said that, as the opponents do make it 1 0. Again, I'm not really sh too sure what happened. It was a kickoff over to the left hand side. Good touch from them. I thought I'd be smart. Rotate in to get boost. The teammate in goal does commit for it. Unfortunately, he misses. It's all good. Here, we're going to stop this kickoff. Let's see what we can do. It's going to come straight down to me. Can I get a touch? We do beat, but not the best touch. Now I'm going to try and get back, see if I can get a demo. He does get boost, and we don't get the demo either. I know I can't really air roll. Got to keep that in mind when I'm going for an aerial at least. Here I've got to be ready in there. I'm last back. That's an easy save for me there. Nice. Can we get this as well? Not quite. We overcommit a bit there. It's fine. Here we do manage to get boost. We mess up the wave dash here. Let's see what we can do. Do you know what? We're going to go for this. Okay. Not quite. The opponent was there before me. Sometimes that stuff just happens. That's fine. Team are able to take it around him. Let me know how you guys think I'm getting on in this game on keyboard and mouse. As we do get that basic hit there. Again, the lack of car control in the air is very, very obvious. And on the ground as well. We do lack car control. That's probably the biggest thing that has changed since me switching for controller from controller to keyboard and mouse for today's video. It's just the lack of car control. A little bit of a bump there on teammate. Wasn't deliberate. Again, it was just unlucky. But probably bad positioning from me. Able to get that first touch away, which is nice. Here we get boost. We're going to try and get this aerial. We do backflip. Can we get that touch? No. Whiffing quite a few times here, which is a little bit annoying. But again, it does happen. Oh, it's nice play from them. That's very, very nice play from them. A good little passing play back into mid. Again, that all did come from a few mistakes from me, probably costing us a little bit there. But again, it was a good pass back and then a really nice pass into a well-placed shot. That's unfortunate. Can we regain it, though? With literally a minute left, are we able to get a goal back? And we do manage to pull off the half-flip mechanic again, which is really, really nice. Here he's got this shot. I'm going to try and wall defend on keyboard and mouse. It's fine we don't need to, as teammate does get the block. Again, I'm not, still don't think, apart from a few mistakes to teammates, all the opponents seem to think I'm out of my depth here. Go on, teammates. Let's see what they can do. What a save, to be fair. I, didn't, I thought we was going to go two down there. Yeah, we're going to wait for this to hit the ground and then go for the touch. Nice. There's not too much more we can do. We can't go for any sort of air dribble or that because we don't have the mechanics, really. Whoa, that's a bit of a surprise there. We'll get the block. Teammate can hopefully get this. Nice from teammate, taking it across goal. I'm going to go and get back boost, ready to rotate him behind. This is Y. Nice, good work from me and teammate to get that away. Nice flick into mid. Teammate can hopefully get the bump there. I'm going to try and go early on this. That's a nice cuxier pinch from him. Not quite got enough power though. It's not going to be a throw on goal. Teammate, what can he do on the edge? Well, can he pull through for us? Beats one. Imagine we score a last second goal on keyboard and mouse. That would be incredible. Is it going to happen? We're going to have to pull someone out of the bag. 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm going to try and knock it into the box. That's my touch getting it into the box. Is anyone going to get there? Teammate up. Other teammate. Shoots. Me. No. We would have scored it. Oh, my God. We'd actually scored it. It just it just hit the ground because the timer ran out. What an insane ending to game number two, though. Let's see. We did finish bottom of the scoreboard in game number two, but I don't think anyone thought I was that out of my depth. But what an insane way to end game number two. Now we're going to move on to seeing what we can do in some training packs. Okay, so after playing two competitive ranked 3v3 games and holding my own, I'm pretty sure, what we're going to do is do a final test of my mechanics on the Uncomfortable Saves training pack. The code is going to be on screen for anyone that wants it. What we are going to do is do the first 10 saves and see what completion rate we can get. So let's go ahead and start off by saving shot number one. What a really, really good start there. Again, nice little air uh, control from me. Basic area and we do get the save. We know that my aerial control is lacking, as has been made obvious there with shot number two. So far, a 50% completion rate. Can we get the save here? A nice little single jump save there from me. We are aware we can aerial, so we will definitely take that. Guys, so far, let me know how you think I have got on down below with my mechanics in both those ranked games and this training pack so far. But so far, we have only missed one of the four shots. But guys, let me know down below. Let me know if you're a keyboard and mouse or controller player. And have you ever thought of switching from controller to keyboard and mouse, vice versa, the other way around? Because I thought this would be a cool video to make. And as you guys can see, it is pretty difficult to do the switch, but we are holding our own here. 
obviously having decent mechanics in the game. I feel like the higher rank you are, the less it will impact you if you switch from either one input to the other. I feel like if I was a plat, this mechanic or input switch would affect me a lot more than when I am on controller. So far, we have unsuccessfully managed to save three shots, leaving us still on a decent completion rate. Again, nice aerial for me there. We aren't able to use the air roll to turn the car around because we don't have that level of control. Final shot, shot number 10. Are we able to get back and do some sort of flip to save it? Very, very nearly. I'd say that's a really, really good attempt. But I think we saved around half these shots, which we did attempt there in the save training pack. So really good overall. Anyway, now let's move on to free play. So now here we are after the 3v3 ranked games and after that training pack in free play. Let's see if we can pull off anything good just while I'm ending off today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate all the support recently on the channel and I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to drop a like, subscribe and also leave a comment on how you thought I get, did get on. Thank you guys for watching and as usual, I will now pick back up my controller and play back on controller. As in my opinion, that is definitely the input that I find easier and I'm better at. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.